Welcome back guys to a brand new video. So I've been getting a lot of comment sessions on my previous videos about game loop, but that video was kind of, it's kind of old. So I decided I want to make a new video for 2023 in this version. I know game loop has a lot of updates over the years and I haven't been playing game loop because it's kind of like a drag on where you get the comment session where you want to play your favorite game, which is like Call of Duty Mobile. And I like to record Call of Duty Mobile onto my PC if there's like latest news about detailing anything. And people like to accuse you of cheating and all that stuff. And I'm just like, my guy, like, this is just for content. I'm not really, I'm not taking this really serious. And those comments was getting really tiring. So that's the reason why I haven't been really having updates about Call of Duty Mobile or Game Loop. But I decided to do it anyways in 2023 because a lot of people have been asking for it. I'm kind of going to go details about everything about the Android emulator, the settings and the hardware, the requirements that you really need. And of course, give you the leave the links down below if you guys are interested in android emulators the one i'm personally going to be using for this video's purpose is going to be game loop because it seemed like game loop is like the popular one there are several android emulators available i will leave their links down below if you guys are interested but my personal favorite is always game loop so i'm gonna show you guys how to download and then install that Right, so once you get into the gameloop.com, the link will be in the description down below. You're gonna see this little purple icon on your right hand side of your screen. You're gonna press download. So once you're gonna download, it's gonna ask you a bunch of questions like every other download app or whatever software you download onto your PC. It's gonna ask you where you want to put the file. Um, do you agree with the terms and services? You're gonna say yes. Then it's gonna pop up the screen like a little square box with a uh, game loop and it's gonna say install. You're gonna install that blue, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna click that blue link and you're gonna install game loop onto your PC. Once game loop is already installed and ready to go, it's gonna come up to a screen like this. I'm gonna find game loop right now. So as you can see, it's recently added. Once you log into here, um, it's going to ask you to sign in. There is two sign in options. The two sign in options is, of course, Google's login and the Facebook login. I kind of noticed when when I had Game Loop on my PC last year, it was having some login issues, especially when I logged into the Google account that I have because I have an Android tablet, but I have an iPhone as my phone. Anyways, when I was logging into the Google account, it wasn't logging me in properly. So I decided to log into my Facebook account. And you guys are going to see later when I, you know, play Call of Duty Mobile, I logged into there and I have no issues. Once you do that, you log into whatever account that you're using. It's going to come to your home screen like this. It's going to show you the, the top games that people are playing or the games that, you know, maybe you might be interested in. But as you can see, when you scroll down to here, you see all the lists like the action, strategy, racing and sports games. And I think they have other games on here, but there's a whole list of other games on here. You guys can look and see and, you know, try out if you want to play. But the main one is always Call of Duty Mobile. So once you do that, you know, you go through all the settings of the app sites and everything like that. You're going to go onto here. You're going to download whatever game that you're interested in. So like I said, for this purpose of this video, I was interested in Call of Duty Mobile. But yes, they do have Pug Mobile on here. These are the top games that people are playing onto the Game Loop uh, emulator. So I already downed Call of Duty Mobile already. We're going to open that very soon. But before we open up Call of Duty Mobile, I want to show you guys something. So there's going to be three lines on the top right hand side of your screen. As you can see, we're going to click on here. We're going to go to settings. Now, the reason why I said we need to go to settings, because there's some things that you might have to tweak to give you the best gaming experience when you're playing any game. So the first thing first, as you can see, this is the general tab and I have mostly everything on check. Definitely, I have this unchecked, the auto run on startup. So when you're starting up on your PC, you don't want the game loop to start up at the same time to slow down your PC's loading time. So that's the reason why I have that unchecked. High advanced watermarks. Sometimes when you're like, you know, browsing on your PC or whatever, there's like little watermarks that game loop tends to have on the left side of your screen on your PC. I tend to have that unchecked. The best fixed window ratio, I had it checked, but I have it unchecked just to see how it is. And of course, there's other like general things that are going to ask you, especially if you're doing screen recording or snapshots of anything that you did fantastically in whatever game you're playing. You're going to leave it on a file location. I have to fix that because that's not the file location that I wanted in. 
And of course, it's going to ask you the language. Of course, for me, it's English. And it's going to ask you the country and the district. Me, is the United States. But they have other countries you can check out, too. So depends on what district or what country you're in. Pick that as your, your setup. For me, is the United States. Next is going to ask you the engine, the screen rendering mode. I have the Direct X Plus. They had it on audio, but I decided to put it on Direct to see how it is. These type of things, I kind of leave unchecked. This part right here, I kind of leave. I don't touch. I didn't really mess with that to see how it is. But if you see anything that maybe, you know, you need to tweak, you can go right ahead. But for me, I don't touch this stuff. I don't really touch anything. The only thing I touched in this setup was the resolution because I have a 1440p monitor. So it depends on what monitor you have, kind of set that up. Now, if you have a... 20 i think it's 2160 i think 2160 is 4k 1440p is of course 2k and 1080p is just hd uh, but if you have a more higher monitor which is like the 4k monitor you have to do press customize and then of course the playback device and the recorder devices of whatever you're you know using on your pc and you just set these up right here then it's going to ask you the model i don't know really what that is so i skipped that and then, of course, there's the game. Now, it's already detected the game that I'm playing is Call of Duty Mobile. There'll probably be additional tabs on this side to kind of, like, set your, you know, your tabs for each game, how you want to play it. But for me, most importantly, is, is Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, the game define or the game definition that you want to play this game. Now, it depends on what type of graphic card that you have. You want to set this up. Now, when I first play Call of Duty Mobile or download Call of Duty Mobile, the default setting was 720p. And let me tell you something, 720p on this monitor was horrible. I said, okay, I got to log out of this and I have to fix my settings before I show you guys how to download and install this. So it depends on what uh, GPU you have in your PC is the best settings. Now, for me, I have a more higher graphics card, so I'm going to go with the 2K, which... It's more fitting because, like I said, I have a 1440p monitor. And, of course, my graphics card is a little bit more higher than the 1080p. I'm not even in that setup anymore. It Trust me, when you upgrade yourself from 1080p to 14k or to 2k monitors, is by far one of the best upgrades I ever did in my entire life. So once you kind of figure out whatever graphics card you have and whatever the best settings, for me, like I said, it's 2k. And then for the graphics quality, it had it on automatic, so I decided to put it on HD quality so to give you guys that better picture quality. And then, of course, it's the account giving you, like, the details of your account and all that stuff. So once you kind of fit that and you have the settings already correctly, we're going to save that. I already have Call of Duty Mobile already saved, so we're going to open it up right now. There is an anti-cheating system, as you can see on your screen. All right, so as you can see, this is called a new mobile. Now, if you're on me, like PC on a on, on a Microsoft PC, this is a Microsoft. I don't have a Mac. Um, if you want this have full screen, there is a little screen right here, like a little square that you can press there. But if you're on keyboard and mouse, it's F11, and it will give you full screen. So as you can see, everything's kind of like hopefully. I think everything is like almost downloaded. So far, there's like a few more things that need to be downloaded. So I'll do that later. Um, but as you see, this is Call of Duty Mobile right here on your screen. Very happy that I'm kind of back on the old ways. I kind of stopped playing Call of Duty Mobile because everybody used to accuse me of cheating. Guys, just to let you guys know, I do not cheat. Um, <laughs> you have to pay for a cheating software. I am not going to give these cheating companies $14 to $20 just to cheat on a game that 99% of the time I don't play. This is the, the last time I played Call of Duty was 2022. And I stream my games onto my platform. And I'm not going to put my reputation on the line just to cheat because you guys feel like because I play Call of Duty Mobile on PC, you accuse somebody of cheating. That's not me. I 99% of the time, I got all my kills and win off of my mobile device. Now, there's a reason why that a lot of people has been looking up Android emulators. I don't know if you guys do know this. But if you want to play your game on your tablet devices and your mobile devices and you want to stream and record this stuff, you have to buy additional accessories to record Call of Duty Mobile on your mobile and tablet devices. You have to go a little bit more step further. 
So that's the reason why they come up with Android emulators. And I thought it was a really good idea for me because, quite frankly, like I said, the last time I played Call of Duty was 2022, November 11th of 2022. And I don't want to put myself in so much debt just to buy another accessory to record Call of Duty Mobile on my mobile device in my tablet device. So having an Android emulator and making content of me playing Call of Duty Mobile onto my PC was the biggest thing that really, it, it was happy for me to really have. And it was a lot easier just to record, put it in a folder, make a video, upload it and call it a day compared to having all these cables or wires just to stream and play Call of Duty Mobile. So people got to understand that. I am not wasting $14 and paying these people out here $14, $19 for a cheap thing. Because I went onto these websites and these people are asking for hefty prices if you want them to use their cheat codes, okay? And there is a anti-cheating system on here. So just to keep that in mind. So that's the reason why I kind of stopped playing Call of Duty Mobile. People were just leaving really nasty comments. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to play Call of Duty Mobile. I'm not going to cover this thing because if you guys are going to be saying nasty things because... I'm playing this game for fun and just making content out of it. And you guys don't like that. And you guys don't want to support that person. I don't want to cover that. I don't want to cover that, quite frankly. It was getting me views on the channel. A lot of people did enjoy the videos and stuff that I was posting. But there was another group of people that was just leaving harmful and nasty comments. And I just said to myself, I think Call of Duty in general is just a toxic community. No matter where I go. So that's the reason why I don't really cover content. But they kind of give you guys a settings of why there's Android emulators. This game loop is not the only one. There are several companies out there. And quite frankly, Call of Duty is, you know, they're profiting off of this. And people got to understand that, like, especially with com- when it comes to Call of Duty, they got to make their money somehow. If they got to make their money by people playing this game on PC and they can't get those people to, you know, play the game on mobile, on tablet devices, but they can get them by playing this game on Android emulators. You know, Active are going to find their ways to make money. I don't think people don't understand this, but if you're a gaming company, you're a gaming studio, you want to make your money by whatever resources that you need to put out there. That's how you make your money. So people got to understand this. Uh, People are not cheating. Uh, This is like a business model for Activision. And Activision has not said anything about it so far. Game Loop has been going on since forever. I mean, for a very long time. I've been using Game Loop since the back in the days of 2017. And this is 2023. And it's still out there. And it it proved itself better. So that tells you a lot. If you guys found the video informative, let me know in the comment section down below. I will answer them as much as I can. And if you guys do enjoy this type of content, and if you guys want me to still play Call of Duty Mobile on the platform, feel free to leave your comments. But right now, with a lot of the games are dropping and the other games that are covering, I might not have time to cover Call of Duty Mobile. But if there's any update or any news related to anything, I will... I'd be more than happy to cover it here on the channel. In the meantime, I will see you lovely audience in my next guided video.